Hey, Magic Flying Potato here. Hope you had a great weekend. Mine was uh, mine was not too bad. I was just uh, chilling back, relaxing, not doing a whole lot of anything. Uh, so I'm gonna continue on with the base build. And from the latest tweet, uh, came out a few days ago. The uh, new update patch is coming out tomorrow, August 26. Now Obsidian is based out of Cal uh, California, United States. Uh, so that would be a 10 p.m. I think they said patch update. I'm in Germany, so that will be that will be on the 27th for me. So yeah, 10 p.m. is is pretty late for a lot of people, unless you're closer to California time zone. So looking at the 27th still, but they said it's going to be the the 26th. So yeah, uh. But yeah, still working on on this structure. Um, I'm just gonna do the do the outside walls for right now. I guess while I'm talking. And uh, what what have you all been doing to get yourselves ready for the updated patch and content? Um, for me, I've just been kind of trying to get the science points. I did have issues with the infected uh weevil and i did um post it in their forums so i do have a ticket out for that issue if you guys are having the same problem where you are unable to hit infected weevils in third person mode uh with a melee weapon like um axe or anything go ahead i'll put a link below to where i post it and this way uh if the more people post the more they probably look into the issue if, if more people are having the problem and are actually reporting the problem I know you can hit them with your insect bow uh, one of uh, one of the subscribers that are participating uh, said that she was able to do it with the the bow and also read that the the insect bow will get the infected weevil so I did finish that quest this morning by do, doing just that by using the bow and hitting the uh, hitting the weevils that way. I did uh, try to attack him again after I hit him with the bow with the melee weapon, but it just it was it still wasn't working. So yeah, so if if you're still having that issue, I'm gonna go ahead and put the link to where to the Obsidian forum where I I uh, reported the problem. And again, if, if you're having the same issue, go ahead. I would suggest go over there and just kind of say you're having the same issue as well. But uh, they, they did have a teaser out on Twitter, a short video about the new update. It didn't really show a whole lot. It did show uh, the girl that, that, that did, the, did the teaser was up on the roof of her building and she had these uh it's like these railings right here on this this piece right here I don't know yeah so she had these railings all around her upper her roof so hopefully that's part of the update is um new new building uh pieces parts portions something like that I know I, I read that there's going to be uh, like a lot more materials to build with, um, new armor, new weapons, and it's all going to be based, It's from what I read, it's all going to be based uh, around the water. So it's going to be kind of like a, a waterborne update, which will be definitely definitely be fun to do. Definitely looking forward to it. Hopefully I'll be able to get some sleep tonight. Waiting for the new patch like a kid on Christmas. <laughs> I haven't really been working on science points though, which I should have been. I've, I've got 3,000 right now, but I've been just grinding away on this, this fortress build. And uh, again, with the issue with the, the infected weevils, I haven't really gotten much further past the infected weevil as you can see up top 
I still need to get uh, larva and the spiderlings, which they're not hard, but it's just the, the grind of running back and forth trying to get materials to build this has been uh, consuming a lot of my time. And it's funny because uh, I'll spend hours getting running back and forth and getting all this stuff. And then it only takes minutes to put it together. And then I'm all out and I'm like, oh, well, there you have it. I'm out of stuff and I have to go grind some more. I wish there was a easier way, faster way of moving uh, the materials that you get. I know I'm using the ant armor, which that is uh, definitely helpful by being able to carry eight. But when you're halfway across the map and it's just running back and forth, it does get a, does get a bit monotonous and grindy. But it's a survival game, and that's kind of like what it's all about. All these weed stems I had stacked up are pretty much almost gone. Hopefully I'll be able to finish my outside wall at least, at least this side. Now, I was going to just build the wall straight across to here, but then I had an idea of building another little, maybe like a village area over here. Again, that's my, my attention deficit disorder. It's like I, I start working on something and then something else comes to mind and I'm like, okay, let me try to start working on this. I think I'm able to at least finish most of this outside wall, except for that portion right there. What time is it? I hate when it gets too dark in the game. And it's hard to see on uh not so much computers, but when you look watching if you're watching on your phone, it makes it very hard to see. So what I'll do is as soon as it hits the 8 o'clock mark, I will go ahead and five. Let's go ahead and make some woven fiber. Alright, so it is 8.05. I am no no joke. And I didn't, you know what, I, I need to move all that inside now. Being that I do have all this stuff up. floor over there. Alright. Hopefully I have enough to finish this side. I think I do. Yes. Alright. I just gotta... I wish there was a quicker way to make woven fiber. Kind of like um, other games where you, you set the amount you want and it will just continue to do it while you're uh, doing other things. more 
on my backpack. Nope. And I was working on the interior just a little bit, uh, putting the weapon holders up here, uh, little sconches up here. Gonna put my armor displays here and over here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my upper floors. Probably no, not uh, probably not a whole lot. Maybe just put furniture and stuff up there. Um, I actually thought about putting a workbench and storage out here so I don't have to keep running in and out of the house. I didn't do that one. Can I get it from here? Oh, yep. Can I get that one from here? Oh, missing wood on that one. Alright, so here is th this side of my fortress. Now, I was sitting here thinking. Uh, I did. I did test it out against the wolf spider that was uh, outside attacking holds up very well and from this lower wall the one that I was just at not this one this one right here I could actually hit him pretty well when he's right below the right down at the gates but I'm not too sure if I could hit him from up here so that's I was I'm debating if I just move this one down to this level again. Because... Let me go back over here. So yeah, when he's right below... Down here, I could actually... Get that close to the... To the wall. Which is... Right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and go up here and try it and see how close. So if he is right on the wall, if a spider is on the wall, see the see the difference between the where I get hit from up here. So this whole area is a is a dead spot. Did that just fall through the ground? It did. So this whole area from where I'm standing to my wall is a dead zone. And on this one I could actually because he's so big, I could actually get him while he's here. So I yeah, I think I already answered my own question. I think I am going to move. I do like the higher walls, but for defense purposes it's not really going to work unless I put um, spike strips out here to keep them further away. Do I have enough? No, I don't. Yep. Yeah, so uh, so that's that's where I'm at. Um, other than that, really not much going on. Still got few ideas in mind for a build or to work on this one at least I don't know if I want to put a um, platform up there like that or build like corner towers I was thinking corner towers would would look pretty cool so I might go ahead and do that but uh yeah this is this is pretty much it for now uh, again waiting for the big patch tomorrow I could put a... Well, no, I can't. I was going to say I could put... Because I built this wrong. Like, this portion down here, and then... Um, a walk... No, I, I don't know. Still thinking. Because if I put a walkway across, I don't think the gates will open right. 
open and close right because the walkway will be right where the gate opens and close. But if I move it up to the top over there, then I can do it. But then I'd have to figure out how to get into these, into the little tower. This is something to think about, something to work on. Because I was going to make this a two-story tower as well, but I went ahead and changed it and moved it to a right here along this lower wall so I can so I can attack. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Uh, again, just not 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 nothing big for this video. It's just kind of like a a build and chill and chat. Seeing how everyone's doing and uh yeah, leave comments below for what you're looking forward for the uh, new patch and what have you been working on? Have you been working on just uh getting a lot of science points, working on a new base? Um, not playing at all, waiting on the new patch, you know, leave, leave a comment below. That'd be great to hear from all of you. And once again, this is Magic Flying Potato playing some grounded. You guys have a great time out there exploring, building, and doing whatever there in your backyard. I am Oot.